Now, brevity is not my strongest suit, but I will try my best to briefly explain to you what's in my makeup bag because there is quite a few products. So depending on how I edit this, I might have shown you myself putting on my everyday face, which is what this looks like right here. And I don't use all my products all the time. And we'll just get into exactly what's going on here. I always start off my face with sunscreen. And in this case, my favorite is the Tacobo Bio Watery Sunscreen. I love this. It's nice and thin. It applies very quickly. I will occasionally get a little bit of pilling, but honestly, it's just lifting a little bit. And in general, I find that it is so aesthetically pleasing and it's aesthetically elegant to put on. So for that, I appreciate it. And it comes in a very easy to use package. So I love that. Um, this is the main sunscreen I use. I do have a second one, and this is the Murad Environmental Shield Vitamin C Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum. This is in my project pan. I have been using the very last drugs of it. I don't enjoy it. It smells very, very, very strongly of citrus. It irritates my eyes. I don't like it. I spent a lot of money on it. I bought it during the 21 Days of Beauty sale at Ulta last year or something like that. Um, Ulta's now changed their sale to now the semi-annual sale, but yeah, I bought this. I don't love it. I, I see why people would like it because it does apply very nicely, but again, due to the scent and the stinging of my eyes, I don't love this. But it's still in my makeup bag, so that way I can use it whenever I get a chance. Sometimes I'll even apply it on my hands. Um, my hands are very dry and they your hands do need sun protection, especially when you are driving, so on and so forth. So that's how I've been getting the most use out of this. As for complexion products, specifically relating to concealer, I don't have any foundations in my makeup bag currently because I just haven't found a use to them, use for them because I've found that the application methods of concealers are so much easier. I only have to use a little bit and usually a doe foot applicator gets the, do the job done quickly. So the main one I've been using is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector and Serum Concealer in the shade Light Cool 20. I've liked this because it's nice and thin. The coverage isn't very high. My usual favorite is the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer. This one is high coverage. It looks better throughout the day. This one is fantastic. It blends very nicely. Lately, I've been going for a lower coverage look, so that's why I've been using the IT Cosmetics. But again, definitely check out the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer in the drugstore if you can. Revlon just killed it when they did this one, and this is actually, I think, the third tube that I've used of this, so I'm excited to continue getting use out of it. As for actual brightening and sculpting of the face, I've been using the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in the shade RN1. I like this because it is pretty high coverage. I do find that this is a more matte finish that can on occasion look dry on my skin, so I use as little as possible to get that brightening effect. I feel like my skin doesn't look too bad now. I feel like my skin looks skin-like. <laughs> I feel like it still looks pretty natural. I don't think I look very cakey, but I wouldn't, I don't think I'm pretending to anyone that I'm not wearing any makeup at all, but I'm sure to the untrained eye, I probably look like I'm not wearing any makeup. So for that, I appreciate it. Um, it is a nice thin formula, high, highly pigmented, and the shade works pretty well for me, but I don't know that I would repurchase it just because of the dry appearance. So we'll have to see. I have to keep using this. I've had this for a few months now, and it's just been used sparingly um, to highlight um, right where my dark spots would be on the top of my cheekbones on my chin and, and in between my brows on the forehead. The other concealer that I have is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Affogato. This is new to my collection. I purchased this just a little bit ago during the Ulta Semi-Annual Beauty Sale. I got it half off. I was really excited about that. And I'm still getting to know this one. And it is high coverage. 
it is a little bit drier in complexion, um, drier in appearance, but it's really good for um, covering blemishes on the cheeks. So I wouldn't use this to specifically highlight large spots of, on my face or large places on my face. But let me actually apply some right now. Because every time I use these products, I learn a little bit more about them. So I just dotted the slightest bit on this brush and I'm gonna kind of blend in this area. You can kind of see the difference, how this has basically flattened this area. And I'm just the lightest tapping. Yeah. And now you can see I flattened this area here as well. But just using the tiniest bit get, goes a long way. So I'm excited to keep using that and it's fun seeing a new product in my makeup bag because then I get excited to open it up and see it and use it and just make more friends with it. I do have the LA Girl Pro Conceal Mint Corrector in my bag. I usually mix this with the O5 Fair uh, Revlon Concealer right here. I usually mix these two together, especially when I'm particularly pale. Um, this mint corrector and the other shades as well. Just this formula, LA Girl has some real sleeper hits, some real fantastic products, and I definitely suggest checking them out. So the mint corrector, the lavender corrector, all their cor correctors I am a huge fan of and highly recommend. And their clear brow gel is magnifique. Totally recommend getting your hands on that if you haven't tried it. It's just so affordable and the formula is fantastic. It honestly stands head and, heads and shoulders above a lot of other products that I have in my collection, drugstore and luxury as well. To set my face, I use the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finish Finishing Powder in the shade light. I know that this one's been discontinued. I still have not tried the new one. I still need to get that one from Amazon. We'll see when I get around to it. Um, I just love this. It blurs my skin. I think it's really fantastic. I'm gonna hold on to this and cherish it until I have to find another one. And my heart breaks a little bit just thinking about it, but it's a great powder and I really enjoy it. I think that one powder that I want to eventually add to my everyday makeup bag is the Pat McGrath Blurring Skin Finish Powder, that really beautiful dome, the little dome one. She just released or just announced a pink one is going to be coming very soon, April 1st. I'm so excited. Can't wait to check that one out. Now let's talk about bronzers and contour. So. One that I've talked about last year is the NARS Cream Laguna Bronzer in the shade Laguna One. I'm pretty sure I talked about this one last year. So here it is. I've really been enjoying this one. It has a really nice blurring finish to the face. It applies very nicely using a stippling brush. In this case, I use a small, this small stippling brush from e.l.f. I just dip it in and bronze con I bronzer my face and I think it's really fantastic it blurs out it blends out very nicely and I really like that I'm not using a ton of bronzer lately I've been really going more for blush focused looks but I have introduced a new bronzer into my everyday makeup collection every makeup everyday makeup bag and it is the Hoola benefit well the benefit Hoola bronzer got this again during the Ulta semi-annual sale for half off. I'm really excited to finally have this. So this is the shade that I got, the, the original shade. And I know that they do have a darker shade in Toasted. They also have a Hoola, Hoola Light, so a lighter shade as well. So far, I've been liking it. I'm wearing this on my skin right now. And I think it's pretty. I'm still getting a handle on the shade and how it looks on me but I've been liking it so far. And I do have a contour in here for when I wanna feel a little bit more ele elevated, <laughs> when I'm going for something a little bit more elegant, when I want a more snatched cheekbone look, and that is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. So here it is. I don't use it a ton, but it's there when I want it, and it just feels so special having it in my bag. I've had this for a long, a long time, and 
I think this is a good one, even though it is pretty pricey. There is no shortage of blushes in my bag. I currently have at least five. So let's start off with the one that I've been using the most, and that is the Benefit Dandelion Blush. I agree that it is a baby pink and very brightening on the cheeks. I think for my skin tone being pale, I think it adds a little bit of life and it's not too much, but I think it's still really darling and kits that just softly pinched cheek looks that I think is really cute. So I like that. I also have the NARS blush in the shade Sex Appeal. Now this is a very soft powdery um, formula and it's this honestly beige peach um, color that I think is really darling and I just really like this one. It's harder to find this one, um, but I think you can on occasion find it at uh, Sephora or the NARS website and I think it's just darling. It's a total side note, but I know that a lot of people have <laughs> um, gotten the ick from brands like NARS or Too Faced using um, sexual <laughs> names for products. And to be honest, I honestly don't mind it because I just don't, I don't think sex is as gross as a lot of people want to say. And especially since sex appeal is, I don't think, inherent to like sexual acts, I guess. And I do agree that there is a line to be drawn. Um, I know that there are things that are a little bit more grotesque, but I don't think that sex appeal in a blush is overly offensive. But I would love to hear what you think about that in the comments. So please chat with me down below. Another um, single blush that I have is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Stereo Rose. I got this because um, Kat from Beauty News, she has raved about this in her project pan and showing it a bunch of love and she did a whole duping situation, a video trying to find a dupe of it. And I just love the name of it, Stereo Rose, gorgeous. I love the swirls in the pan and it's just a really shimmery shimmery blush that I think is just so darling and I think it's very reminiscent of the early 2000s and I just love having this and using this and yes it's discontinued but I did find it on Mercari and I suggest you do the same if you also like discontinued products like myself and I just cherish getting to enjoy the fleeting moment with discontinuing products like this. And I have two cheek palettes, the Stila Convertible, um, Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Palette in the Quad One. Love this. I use this all the time. It's perfect for travel because cream products are much less likely to crack and go all over the place the same way that powder products do. And it's super easy to use this on the lips and the cheeks. I mostly use this shade right here, which I think is Petunia. I usually use that one, or is it Lilium? Maybe that's Lilium. I can never tell if it's the one when you're looking at it like this way, or if it's, I use this one. I think it's pretty, it's a really simple mauve, and I love mixing them all together too, and they just give a really cute look all together, and the mirror is fantastic. So love this product. I got this at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, great deal and you can find it full price on their website still but i'm wishing that i could find uh, the quad number two i want that one so bad i think those colors are so gorgeous so i'll have to look, do some more searching on the secondhand markets to find that one i also have the natasha Denona love glow cheek palette i <laughs> love this i have so many fond memories with this and it is this gorgeous thing here. So I don't get as much use out of the shimmery powder here and the glow impact powder. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of a bronzy situation with the glow impact powder, but the diamond powder, I love tapping on my eyes and sometimes on my cheeks for an extra fun look. And the glow cream, um, the, gr <laughs> the glow cream base, I think is wonderful as a cream blush. And I've lately been loving using it on my lips 
and it just looks so gorgeous. That beautiful rose gold on the lips is just so luscious and pretty. I haven't been highlighting very often, but if I do, I use the Chanel Le Beige Fluid, uh, the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. I think this is just so beautiful. I've talked about it before in a couple of other, of other videos where I feel like I look like a shiny SpongeBob bubble, like the bubble from SpongeBob that's like cartoony and just gorgeous and slippery. That's exactly what this looks like on the skin and I adore it and I love when I use this. I can use this all over the face or just tap it on top of my makeup. However, it, it just looks so gorgeous and healthy on the skin. The other highlight that I use on occasion is this ColourPop Disney collaboration in the shade Horse and Carriage. It's a very shimmery platinum highlight that I think, not shimmery, it's just, it just has a very wet metallic shine to it that I think looks beautiful blended out or intensified. And I think it's just a really great shade for a pale person like myself. And I think it also looks really cute all over the lid as well. So when I do feel like highlighting with a powder highlight, this is the one that I go to. Now let's talk about brows. I have, the main one that I've been using is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It gives me the most hold and the brush itself is very nice to um, tame each hair into place, which I think is fantastic. The next holding one that I have is um, the NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. It's not as much hold as the Benefit brow gel, but it's still a good amount of hold. The brush is pretty big. It's the size of a volumizing mascara brush. Not my favorite, but the formula still holds up pretty well. I did throw in the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Clear Brow Gel in here. It's okay. It's honestly not that much hold at all. So if you just want to brush through the brows and give them a little bit of something, but not too much, and it still has a touchable hold, It'll go well for you, but it won't last all day in terms of keeping the shape to your brows. And then the other brow gel I'm still getting familiar with is the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow Gel. I'm still getting familiar with it. Sometimes I think it has a good amount of hold. Sometimes I'm just not sure if it's doing anything. So again, I'm still getting familiar with it. I did find this at the Dollar Tree and we'll have to see how I continue to use it. Now let's talk mascara. I have my main favorite. I've raved about this endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. Please, please, please check it out if you want a wide eye, wispy look to your lashes. And this is the L'Oreal Bambi, Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara. It is gorgeous. I think it's so pretty. I think that if you like something that's very fluttery and open, this is just the number one way to go. I also really enjoy that it washes off very easily, so, I don't feel like I'm tearing and ripping out my eyelashes every night before I go to bed. I have another lash combination of two mascaras, and that is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara and also the Maybelline Falsies Surreal Mascara. And I use these in combination because this gives me a good amount of product and separation and length, and then the Maybelline Surreal Lashes gives me quite a bit of volume. I use these two in conjunction because the L'Oreal Telescopic I find can be kind of flaky and it will, if I, <laughs> if I touch, if I touch my eye or like, I'll sometimes like catch myself going like this and then I'll come away and see so much mascara on my, on my hand, on my, more on my finger than on my lashes, which is quite upsetting. <laughs> um, so the look is really pretty, but to add some more like more longevity, I will add the Maybelline Surreal Mascara, which adds, this is kind of difficult to remove. So keep that in mind, but it does add quite a bit of volume. And again, these two together give a really pretty look. Um, they give a similar look, slightly more voluminous than the current one that I have now. So it's a little bit more voluminous than the Bambi Eye. But again, um, this is just a cute. This is just a cute look that, um, if you want to do two steps, you can do it and get a really 
nice lash look. But again, it this pales in comparison to this for myself for the current look that I've been going for, which is just baby doll, Barbie, like pretty please with cherries on top. Like that's the look that I go for. <laughs> As for eyeshadow, I don't know if I'm using the same one that I did last time, but this is the Makeup Forever uh, Deep Potted Eyeshadows from Natasha Denona's um, Blue and Purple Palette. And they're just some simple cream and brown shades. I mostly use the cream shades um, to keep my eyes bright and wide. Um, on occasion, if I'm doing something extra special, I feel like I want to spice it up and do maybe a little more smoky eyed or maybe contoured eye look, I'll use the browns in here as well. And the shimmers are just so pretty. For lip products, I have quite a few, but let's just start getting into them. So the lip liner I've been really loving is the Buxom Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Hush Hush Henna. I think this is really pretty. It's just a nice neutral rose color. I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's see if I can get this to focus. It's really pretty and just so darling. The formula of this is fantastic and blends nice and easily. In terms of plumping, it just is it plumping in shape. It does not sting like the Too Faced plumping lip liners. I haven't gotten those because hearing about a stinging lip liner not for me, but this is a softer, creamier formula that's really nice and blends very easily onto the lips. I've been raving about these Revlon Cushion Lip Tints. I have this one in the shade Naughty Mauve, but I also have Pink IRL and a few other shades. So darling. I love how long lasting they are. I love the look on the lips. Lip stains in general are a lip category that I am obsessed with and I really want more products to come out in that category so I'll definitely be looking for more product launches for lip stains. I just think this is so darling and I know that I definitely got this at the Dollar Tree and I haven't seen this at the drugstore but if you've seen anything like this or similar please let me know in the comments because I want to get I want to find them I'm on the hunt. <laughs> As for lipsticks, I have two Revlon lipsticks right here, and I have the shade Skyline Pink and Afterglow. Afterglow is a brand new one from Revlon, and here you can see, so the Skyline Pink is a metallic silvery pink, very pretty, very sheer, and then Afterglow, I'm still getting to know it, but it is a more rusty copper um copper shade and it's it's pretty cute it's different it's definitely different from what i anticipated but i think it's i think it's cute i'm still getting to know it now i have been absolutely obsessed with this two dollar and fifty cent lip gloss and this is the ruby kisses lip gloss. I think this is a, I need to figure out exactly the brand. It's all taped up and I got this at my local beauty supply store and it just is so shiny and so lovely on the lips. It's not sticky, but it does last a long time and I just think it is absolutely darling, darling. <laughs> and I totally recommend you check this out if you have a beauty supply next to you or close to you. It's just so pretty. And I've been showing a lot of love to the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss in the shade Havana Good Time, another project pan update basically. And I've been getting really, really close on it. It is just so pretty. I have so many of these and this one is definitely my favorite color out of all of them. Now, another very shiny lip gloss, not sticky, just beautiful on the lips. And that is the NYX This Is Juice Gloss in the shade Strawberry Flex so gorgeous super glossy this is more juicy looking than the ruby kisses shade or the ruby kisses lip gloss and i just think this is fantastic i pulled this out after not using it for a long time and i was just asking myself why haven't i been using this all the time and i sometimes will do that i'll try to show love to everything else and then i'll remember that i should have just kept using this the entire time so yeah this is so cute it is like 
has like the softest tingle to it, but it is mostly plumping through shine on the lips. And then two kind of lip balms situation is I'm still loving the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the shade Berry. It's almost done, just delicious, beautiful, gorgeous. It's nourishing and moisturizing to the lips without being like medicinal. And it's still just aesthetically beautiful, just being a, lot, a soft pink lip gloss on the lips. And I've also been really loving the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Pink Sugar. It's really pretty. It, it does have a pretty strong scent, but it is just gorgeous on the lips. It is a little bit thicker, so be aware that if you put too much, it can turn into Gloop City pretty quick. But it is still very darling. And that is everything that is in my everyday makeup bag. And I had so much fun sharing this with you. I do want you to know that you definitely should check out the um, LA Girl correctors. So beautiful, so gorgeous. I want to know what blush you're loving right now. I really would love to check some new blushes out. So please let me know down in the comments. And yeah, again, go see if you can find this lip gloss or something similar because I want to know. But this is what I've been wearing in a lot of my videos when I haven't, um, when they haven't been as product focused or when they I've been focused on other things. So if you're wondering, this is it. This is just such a good one. So yes. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.